morning everybody. Today is Friday, March 4th. We have some photo coverage of the FCT Rebels girls basketball. Uh, they played yesterday up in Grand Forks. Unfortunately, they lost to North Star. They'll be playing again on um, about 2.45 this afternoon and again on Saturday, so you'll have to check our um, Sunday paper for coverage on that. And we also have a story on the spring flood outlet for the Red River Basin. It looks really good for us. It looks like it's going to be really dry. Next up is the rest of the newsroom. A Wapiton man charged with unlawful entry into a vehicle is expected to serve at least uh, 30 days in jail in addition to a current sentence uh, being charged by the city of Wapiton. Also, Wapiton's Flood Protection Committee met yesterday where it was determined that more work needed to be done regarding a, a levy encroachment project for land near Tehinka Zoo. Read all about it. Hi everybody, today in sports we have a recap of the NDSCS Wildcats uh, district title victory last night in overtime. So make sure to read all about that. They're headed to the national tournament for the first time since 2009. We also have a recap of the Wapton girls basketball team's playoff victory against West Fargo. And a uh, couple photos from the Breckenridge Cowgirls basketball game. Also a column about Carson Wentz by uh, contributing writer Preston Yegi. So make sure to read all about that. It's Tuesday, March 2nd. It is the 2nd, right? We also have a um, photos from the 